They wear shirts with his name, face, and missing person information. Speak about the case on local podcasts. You dream, and that, that's the hardest thing, man. You sit there and dream, man. And it's like it's, it's so real. And when they get a tip, they share it with investigators. I guess she's talking about her husband. 23 years after their father went missing, Tiny Ruff and Bobby Walker are making sure their dad is remembered. It's hard pill to swallow because I'm older than what dad is when he was di when he disappeared. You know, I'm well past dad's age. Does that hit a little hard? Oh, it, it's hard. It really is. It's this realization that, uh, you know, it, it's time to, you know, it, it, well, it's past time to bring dad home. James Walker, or Slim, as many knew him, went missing on April 7th, 2000. According to investigator Jason Hinton with the Bedford County Sheriff's Office, they have suspects. How many suspects do you have? Um, currently that are still alive, I think there's two that I think were probably directly involved or have knowledge of it. He's the latest investigator assigned to the case. As years pass, the baton gets passed too. It's a source of frustration for Tiny. She describes these past 23 years as a roller coaster ride. You would get little news that they're doing something and then next thing you know it was forgotten about and then you just kind of it's it's you just never know however investigator henton assures the case has not been forgotten he says he learned about the walker case as soon as he joined the criminal investigations division at the department taking it upon himself to look into it we're here to advocate for the families like I, some people might just see a binder on a shelf i see a victim and i see a victim's family um, and I see a victim's family, especially in this case, that they need that closure. In order to bring closure, the people who know what happened to Slim Walker need to come forward. Somebody might have a little bit of information that maybe we don't know about that might help us just, like I said, crack the case wide open. I don't understand why they're, they're scared. Just speak up. Bobby says the goal isn't to bring charges or get a day in court. Right now I'm at the point I just want to find Dad. That's, that's what I want to do. They want to bring their father home, lay him to rest, and finally stop fighting for answers. In Bedford County, Kathleen Stone, WFXR News.